Hello students, today we are going to discuss about chapter number 1 that is programming language. All of you might be knowing about what is language. So here language is nothing but it is the way which we can communicate with each other like humans communicate in English, Hindi or in their native language. Likewise computers also need a language to communicate with you. So that is known as a programming language. Coming to our first slide that is introduction. A programming language is a computer language that is used by programmers to develop applications, scripts or other set of instructions for a computer to execute. Okay, so what is a programming language? It is a language that is used by programmers to develop applications, scripts or other set of instructions for a computer to execute. Okay, so with the use of this programming language, the programmers develop applications so that they can be executed in a computer. Now the types of programming languages, there are two different types. First is low level language, second high level language. Low level language. Low level computer languages are machine codes. Computers cannot understand instructions given in English. It can only understand and execute instructions given in form of machine language, binary language. That is language in the form 0 and 1. So what does this mean? low level languages are machine codes so what are low language they are machine codes okay as computers cannot understand instructions given in english so why computers cannot understand instructions given in english because they are machines and machines need their type of language for example humans can understand only english and other languages but not machine languages okay therefore computer can only understand and execute instructions given in form of machine language that is binary language here binary language is nothing but it is in the form of 0 and 1 so now the types of low level languages so here are the types of low level languages that is machine language and assembly language okay Coming to the first type that is machine language. Machine language is also known as first generation language. Machine language is the lowest and most elementary level of programming language. Okay, It was the first programming language to be developed. That means this language was the first language that was developed. Okay, It is basically the only language which is understood by the computer. A manufacturer designs a computer to obey just one language that is machine code. Remember when a computer is designed by a manufacturer then they design in such a way that the computer obeys only one language that is machine code which is represented inside the computer by a string of binary digits as we have seen in our previous slide that binary digits represent 0 and 1. Here the symbol 0 stands for the absence of electric pulse or else you can say 0 stands for false ok false means no electric pulse no electric pulse means no current and when no current is there no system will not work and 1 for the presence of electric pulse that means electricity is present and the system is in on mode therefore 0 represents for off and 1 represents for on. Since computer is capable of recognizing electric signals, therefore it understands only machine language. Ok, pay attention, computer is capable of recognizing electric signals, therefore it understands only machine language. It does not understand English language instructions, therefore for operating computer we should make that it in such a way that it is understanding machine language. Coming to our next slide that is about assembly language. Assembly language is also known as second generation language. 
after the first generation was developed this assembly language was developed assembly language was developed to overcome some of the inconveniences that were faced in the machine language that means in first level sorry first generation language there were some problems to overcome that problems assembly language was developed this is another low level but a very important language in which operation codes and operands are given in the form of alpha numeric symbols instead of zeros and ones so pay attention the assembly language was developed in such a way that it was in the form of alpha numeric symbols instead of zeros and ones as we have seen in first generation language it was using zeros and ones but in assembly language we are using alpha numeric symbols we'll be discussing alpha numeric symbols in the down section these alpha numeric symbols are known as mnemonic codes okay the alpha numeric symbols are known as mnemonic codes and can have maximum up to 5 letter combinations okay so what are alpha numeric symbols they are mnemonic codes which can have maximum of 5 letter combinations so for example a d d for addition s u b for subtraction and likewise we can write for other operations also okay this language is also very difficult and need a lot of practice to master it because very small english support is given to this language so assembly language is a very difficult language and it is very difficult for a person to learn it because there very less support of english language is given okay note the instruction of assembly language are converted to machine code by language translator to be executed by the computer okay remember what is used to convert assembly language to machine code a language translator is used okay coming to the next one high level language now we will see the classifications of high level language so these are the classifications of high level language that is third generation language fourth generation language and fifth generation language we will be discussing about third generation language first coming to the next one third generation language hi it is a high level language gives formats close to english language as we have seen in first and second that do not have english language okay third generation is having formats close to english language the purpose of developing high level language is to enable people to write programs easily and in their own native language and moment that is english so what is the purpose of developing third generation language the purpose was to enable people to write programs easily and in their own native language and moment okay hll are basically symbolic language that use english words or mathematical symbols rather than mnemonic codes as we have seen in second generation language it they were using mnemonic codes but third generation language was modified level and they were not using mnemonic codes instead they use it symbolic languages each instruction in high level language is translated to many machine language instructions thus showing one to many translation coming to our next slide that is fourth generation language fourth generation language uses english like statements just similar to third generation language but syntax of fourth generation language is much closer to human language than third generation language as we have seen in third generation language we are using english statements that was close to english but in fourth generation language it uses english like statements just similar to third generation language okay it is accessible to people without formal training as programmers so as we have seen in first and second generation language it was very difficult for people to learn but fourth generation language was easy so that people can work on it it allows multiple common operations to be performed with a single programmer entered command okay so it allows multiple common operation that means one code can do many operations with a single command okay programmers spend less time and efforts 
to code the programs for the fourth generation language as they specify what program should accomplish and how should it accomplish that means the programs who write the program they were spending less time and efforts in code because they have to work on how to get the output and why and how should it work okay coming to the next one that is fifth generation language the fifth generation programming language is based on solving problems using constraints given to the program rather than using an algorithm written by a programmer here the fifth generation language is based on solving problems using constraints constraints mean the conditions okay so the programming language is based on solving problems using conditions given to the program most constraint based and logic programming languages and some declarative languages are fifth generation language it is designed to make the computer solve a given problem without programmer so fifth generation language is the most advanced language that allows to work without a programmer this way programmer only needs to worry about what problems need to be solved and what conditions need to be met without worrying how to implement a routine or algorithm to solve them fifth generation language is mostly used in artificial intelligence research okay so fifth generation language is the most advanced language in all the languages therefore it is being used in artificial intelligence research so this is what about today's class now the rest of the things we'll be discussing in the next class okay thank you